And just to kind of go on with it, what 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 are you arguing in the book, and sort of what's the the big goal of writing this book? Let's see. I'm arguing a few things. Um, first and foremost, I'm arguing that we have to take uh, slaveholders ambitions in the American West really seriously and think about parts of the West, at least California, New Mexico, Arizona, even sort of Southern Utah as in a, lot of, in a lot of ways an extension of the slave South or at least sort of a political client to the slave South. Um, slavery, you know, African-American chattel slavery at least never really flourished in the region and never really took root. Um, it was legalized throughout uh, most of the American Southwest. Um, but even though it, uh, African-American slaves weren't there in huge numbers, the sort of political agenda um, of, the, of the slave South held sway. Um, and so seeing the West as in, in many ways part of the South, that's one of the um, objectives of the book. The other is to sort of put different types of coerced labor in the same narrative frame. So there's obviously an incredible and rich literature on um, uh, the, the plantation slavery of the South. There's also this newer, um, but still really robust literature on Native American servitude and slavery, uh, but they belong to their own historiographic traditions. We don't really write about them together. But of course, American Southerners thought about them together. Uh, they saw indigenous servitude and black chattel slavery as part of sort of a transcontinental belt of unfreedom. Um, and and they actively worked within Congress to protect um, various forms of coercive labor in the Southwest. Um, and then the book is also sort of generally about so the, the coming of the Civil War and the war itself and how we have to take the West seriously when we think about these big, um, this big crucible in American history. Um, and as you know, the major um, sort of the standard works on the subject, on the Civil War era, treat the West as either a sideshow or as sort of an abstraction in debates between Easterners. Um, so I'm really trying to foreground the West, its people, its political significance in the Civil War story. And I really enjoy that you're already kind of highlighting what we're going to be talking about today with regard to um, the, the themes of the interview and also the themes of the book. Uh, 